Creating panoramas has actually never been easier before thanks to Luminar Neo's panorama extension. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this and how easy it is in under five minutes. Yes, creating a panorama in under five minutes. Let's go ahead and put the clock on the screen. Let's go. So when you see on your screen, all you have to do is navigate to the photos that you wanna stitch. I have seven photos that I wanna to stitch together. Just click on the first one, hold shift down and click on the last one. And then you're going to move all seven into your panorama stitching extension in the catalog window. That's going to upload these into the panorama stitching catalog. And I'm going to hit start to start processing these into a stitch. Now this is actually very fast. I think it's faster than both Photoshop and Lightroom because of the way that it stitches these together. Now that you're done stitching, you can see that it has done a very good job. Even if you zoom in, you can find the different parts of the stitching and I can't even see any lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stitch. Once it stitches these together, it's gonna to show you this screen right here where you're going to be able to crop that stitch in. Now, why do you need to crop a stitch? Because when you're taking these photos from like left to right or even down to up, up to down, right to left, a lot of times you're getting extra space in the center photos versus the edges or on the edges, more space. If you're using a wide angle lens, more spaces on the edges than in the center, thanks to the lens distortion. So you just basically have to crop out those black sections so that you don't get that coming in in your final photo. Hit crop and boom, I'm done with that crop. I can hit save and then I can move in and start processing this photo and editing it to finalize the finished panorama. Now, if you're kind of blown away by this, like I was when I first started using it, go ahead and click on the link to either download Luminar Neo or get the panorama stitching extension that's in the video description or in the pinned comment link. So here's our pano. I'm gonna start editing this, going into the presets section. Uh, I'm just gonna go into scenery, maybe a simple adjustment for the effect here and drag that down just a little bit to take out some of that. I'm gonna do that. That looks fine. Maybe just a little bit more. That looks pretty good to me. Gonna go into my edit window now. And once I'm in my edit window, I'm just going to go to the basic enhance and drag that up to a point that I like it. After we've done that, let's go down to develop. Uh, exposure's a little hot on this, so I'm gonna bring that down. Smart contrast up. I'm gonna bring my highlights down and my shadows up just slightly. Then in my black and whites, I'm going to decrease my blacks and increase my whites just a little bit to make those trees glow on that. For color, I'm gonna increase my saturations to really bring out those greens in the scene right there. Sharpness is nothing because you can zoom in and see how sharp these leaves actually are. And you can also see how good of a job the stitching did because I don't see any evidence of any stitching going on whatsoever. Finally, I'm gonna go down here into uh, my dramatic and atmosphere sections. Also mood and atmosphere, I'm just going to increase just a little bit of fog up in the sky to make that glow a little bit. Coming down into dramatic, I might increase that just barely slightly. And then for mood, I'm going to create a little bit more mood in the scene, a little bit more contrast in that, and a little bit more saturation in that as well. So boom, there you have it. I have a full panorama here in under five minutes. That's going from stitching, presets to editing to finally right click and export this into my desktop. And there's the entire pano that you have for you showing how easy it is to actually use pano stitching in Luminar Neo. Again, if you want any of those downloads to Luminar Neo or also the extensions for pano stitching, click on the links in the video description and in the pinned comment section.